Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to review and create this makeup look with this palette. This is Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction eyeshadow palette and this is not mine unfortunately. My sister bought this for herself and of course immediately when it arrived to her I took it from her and I said that I want to review it and I want to try it myself on uh, my channel because I've been very curious about Pat McGrath's palettes and eyeshadows and I heard so many amazing things about this palette and I really really wanted to check it out. It actually cost a lot to ship to Sweden so I never had the, this money to buy it myself but I was curious. Let me just say before we go into the pack to the makeup look I really don't like this packaging. It's, I mean, it looks wonderful, but it's not very practical. You have the palette here, and then you have this card with the names of the eyeshadows inside. I would prefer if they were on the packaging. So this is kind of dirty or because I have my fingerprints everywhere, but it's a beautiful palette. It's very heavy. I do not like the mirror because it has these weird edges, so I don't, it kind of covers a lot of my, uh, my face, and I don't like that. The eyeshadows are very, very nice. The matte shades are beautiful, but I have to say the... I mean, they are amazing. They're beautiful. But the shimmery shades are more like toppers. Let me swatch them for you. I mean, they look more like, uh, these two shades look more like toppers. This shade here and these shades. And now these three shades maybe look like toppers. But it's a beautiful palette. I really like, like it though. There is a lot of fallout with these glittery shades. And um, yeah, I made a mistake of doing my face makeup before I apply this. Like I said, I will tell you if I think it's worth the money at the end of this video. But it's a beautiful palette and I'm glad that I got this chance to play with it. So if you're interested to see how I created this look, it was very easy and very fast, then please keep on watching. I'm going to take this Esco O2 brush and I'm going to go into this shade here, the brown shade. It's uh, pigmented. I do have P. Louise base and I did set it with some powder because I'm not going to keep this makeup on too long. So I'm going to remove it after maybe an hour or two. So I'm trying to use my P. Louise base that doesn't really work long hours on my eyelids. This shade is kind of building very nice and also blending. I think this is blending nice. Let's go into this deeper brown, this shade here. This is a heavy palette. This is very pigmented, so I'm going to try to clean this brush a little bit and blend everything nice. Into this brush, Esco 05, and go into this bronzy shade, this shade here. see how it's going to look. The brush, it doesn't really want to show up. I 
doesn't really show up with the brush. Let's see with the finger. Yeah, it's showing up beautifully with the finger. This shade feels a little bit dry and uh, you do need to build it up, but it's kind of very... I know I haven't seen this formula before. It's a nice formula. It does have a little bit of fallout. It's a very special shade. It has like green, light green gold shimmers in. It's very hard to describe. I'm going to go into that light light found again and just kind of build it up here. I don't know. Let me take off the fallout. And I'm going to try this shade. This shade here, it looks very nice duochrome, very nice duochrome. I'm going to put it on top. Oh wow. This transforms this shade into something else. And it has a lot of fallout, a lot of fallout. It has a lot of fallout, so... <coughs> Maybe not the best idea for me to do this beautiful mark foundation because this gold shade doesn't want to move. So I do have sparkle everywhere under my eyes right now. That's um, wonderful. <laughs> so let's go into this uh, first shade here. And I'm going to take the brown shade that we had in our crease and blend it on the lower lash line. I'm going to bring it a little bit low because I'm going to go in with a shimmery shade on top. These shades, the matte shades are blending very nice and the shimmery shades are not bad either. They are beautiful, but there is a lot of fallout with those shades. I'm going to use something like this. And I'm going to go in with this shade again that we had on top of that bra, bra, uh, bronzy shade. I'm going to try to wet it because there is a lot of fallout and it's not really sticking properly. It really works better if you wet the brush. I want to go into that pinky shade also. Oh, this would be beautiful all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to go into that green shimmery shade. So I'm going to put some mascara on and eyelashes and I'll be right back. So guys, that this is the final look. I really like how this turned out. Though I have to say, is this palette worth the money? Well, um, maybe not. Uh, it does cost a lot to ship. Uh, um, if it was without shipping, yes. But with shipping, it's not worth it. The matte shades are wonderful. Maybe the best mattes I ever used. These shimmers are beautiful, or the toppers, but they do have a lot of fallout. And like I said, I do not like the, the mirror in here. 
I think it's bulky and I don't like that uh, that that is these kind of edges and I don't like that but otherwise I do think this is a beautiful palette it's very heavy it's not maybe travel friend friendly though I do wish that it was mine so I could use more of this palette and create some uh, beautiful looks that I imagined in my head but I will definitely keep it for a couple of days and play with it so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you did give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and see my next video bye